How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Dimac channel. If you're new to me, thank you very much for clicking on this video. I'm Chris Bilton. I was a professional jeweler for over 20 years in the UK, but then I quit my job and moved to Japan. So now I'm out here in Japan making jewelry making instructional videos on YouTube. So have a look through the channel, have a look through all the videos. And if you think it's useful to you, if you're learning to make jewelry, why not help it grow and click like and subscribe for the algorithms. Helps YouTube understand that these videos are valuable to people. So it will promote them to more people. Uh, anyway, right, today's quick one. I'm gonna just show you, I was just about to do something like the, the, the spirit of this channel is nothing's really that thought out before I start filming. I just kind of, something comes to mind and I'm like, right, I'm making a video on that. Uh, so today I was just about to start doing something and it's a useful little thing. And if you don't know, you don't know, but it's worth telling you about it because then it's useful. <laughs> Did that make sense? Probably not. <laughs> so if you're new to the channel, you might not know about these, but I use these a lot every time I'm making stuff. Really it's for finishing touches to get things really accurate. These are like hard abrasive rubber discs. You can sharpen up to a kind of blade. They're really good for skimming over edges and getting corners really sharp, tidying up solder lines. Uh, really, really useful. So this is a small rubber disc. I'm just gonna destroy this one a bit for the purposes of this video. So it's, can you see the bits coming off it? This dust collects, you get quite a lot of it. Try not to blow it because it goes everywhere, but it does drop in your skin. And it mixes with metal that you are filing. My new file. Um, so yeah, you're filing gold and whatever, silver in this case. So in the skin, you've got the rubber disc dust mixed with all your precious metal. I know it doesn't matter that much because if you, if you just swept that up and chuck chucked it in your scrap pot. It would just all get separated, whatever they do, their chemical processes and stuff. They get it to, they get pure silver, they get pure platinum, they get their gold and stuff. They, they know what they're doing, so it doesn't matter that much. But before you send off stuff to be melted up, it's nice to know what weights, it's only, only gonna be approximate, but it's, it's nice to know what kind of weight silver you're expected to be paid for, or platinum and gold and stuff, just to be a bit more organized. If you're running a business, you need to be a bit good with your numbers like that. So don't just chuck it at them and see what you get. Where I worked in London, yeah, they didn't, um, they'd never sent off the fluff from the polisher motor. And um, I know from the place I worked before London, that stuff was worth a fortune. So we used to just like, we'd just sweep it all off, just throw it in a bin, just be like, ah, oh, they're just wasting money. And I mentioned it to them loads of times. They didn't, they didn't seem to care. But yeah, everything like, even I've heard of like, like just small little rugs under jewelers feet where they work like just little bits of dust over the years that could be worth a lot of money in the future so try to collect everything and send it to the scrap so i think it's a good idea to know approximately what you're sending out to be melted down uh it's just good good practice i think so you need to separate you need to clean it out as best possible here so i'll show you how i do that First of all, collect it. This is just a, an old mint tin, cut off half, nice and sharp there, so this is quite good for collecting the dust. But use what you want, I'm sure you can spend a lot of money on a special <laughs> tray for doing this. I wouldn't bother if I was you. So collect that carefully, try not to kick it up in the air. Some bristles, I'd go for something quite soft. Um, because if the bristles are stiff, they tend to just flick. They flick it everywhere. So when you're doing that, you're actually just throwing it about a lot. Something soft just pushes it around. I have actually got, let me see it. Nah, I can't find it. I had a, um, like, uh, hare's foot. <laughs> a really old fashioned thing they used to, jewelers used to use, like a, a rabbit's foot. A hare's foot is better because it's longer apparently. I got given a hare's foot and I had it for years. Um, bit gross, I know, <laughs> probably a bit unhygienic, but it worked really well. It doesn't flick at all because obviously it's very soft fur, very short, just sweeping around the skin with a, like a hare's foot. Um, I've got it somewhere, I think it's in a box at the top of the cover. I can't bother to pull it all out just to show you. Uh, anyway, right, so you've got all this in your tin tray thing, whatever. Right, so anyway, right, we need the next piece of paper. I recommend white paper, it doesn't really matter, but you can just see it a bit better. Fold it in half, fold it in half down the middle. Chuck that in there. Stand over a bin. Don't do this over your skin, because then you're just putting it back in the skin. It's like 
like you see a hair there there's like this is all just silver dust and rubber wheel dust but you get dust from like the wood off your peg as well all goes in there um it's all impurities so what we do is just gently gently blow it and what happens is the rubber dust uh weighs less than the metal dust so it uh it all the rubber dust comes out first and then you're left with just the metal dust can you see like the black the black dust goes but it leaves the silver behind it's because the silver weighs more so if you blow it gently you're just blowing away all the little bits of wood bits of rubber dust It's up to you what you want to do. You might lose a little bit of the metal. I think platinum is, is much more dense metal, it's much heavier, so it stays put much easier than silver. Um, but I just chucked that silver back in there. But you saw it on the video previously, there's a lot of black in there, but now just chuck that in there. It looks quite clean again, look. It just separated a lot of the black out. But when I like weigh this, um, this is much more pure in there. It's not just like a third lemel and then like two-thirds like just bits of paper and rubber wheel dust and wood and stuff uh, so I've got a much more accurate understanding of what kind of uh, what metal I'm sending them and what kind of money I might come back as well so uh, yeah I think it's worth doing but I understand if you don't like the idea of blowing on your dust <laughs> over a bin because uh, you might lose some um, but anyway yeah silly kind of video perhaps but this is what I do. I just want to, that's what this channel's about. I'm just sharing little things that I know what I do. And uh, yeah, you can use it or don't use it. It's up to you. Uh, but anyway, cool. All right, I've got some patrons and YouTube members I need to say thank you to to get my lists. David Etheridge, Jane Fraser, Fiona Morgan, Luciana Gill, Cold Jewelry, and Gunter. Thank you very much, guys. You really, I really appreciate it. And you were helping the channel grow and continue to do more. So. It's exciting for me because I get a new dot, a new idea, and I actually feel like it's possible to do. So it's really, like, really helping me continue and, and do more on the channel. Um, yeah, we got some YouTube members as well, a new membership for the channel. Uh, look for a join button. Um, got Tresna Stokes and Alexander Protz. Thank you very much, guys. Um, the, mem the YouTube membership is new. I'm still working on it. I need to upload all the full instructional guides. Um, yeah, I'm learning how to use it as well. It's not as easy to use as Patreon, uh, so I'm constantly contacting YouTube uh, like creator support. <laughs> and, uh, I've got a question for everything I need to do. Is nothing's easy to work out, but uh, making progress slowly, slowly. So bear with me on that, getting it up to scratch. Um, but yeah, thank you guys, all the patrons, all the members, like really helping me out, helping me do more. So it's exciting times for me because it's still early days and. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited about how, how the channel can grow into the future. So yeah, thank you very much. Uh, if you appreciate the content, um, this video is perhaps a little bit silly. It's a little bit short and just a funny little thing, like a little bit of info, a little technique I do, but I wanted to share it because that's what the channel's about. Uh, but yeah, check out the other videos if you're new to it. If you're new to the channel, check out the other videos and there's a lot more useful stuff for you. <laughs> if you're actually learning to, looking to learn to make jewelry, there's, there's plenty of videos for you. Uh, yeah, why not click like and subscribe if you're, if you're new and uh, if you want to take it a step further to help me do more, become a patron or a member yourself. So there's links in the description for all that. And uh, yeah, you can click on those and follow, learn how to do what you've got to do. Uh, right, cool. I'm off. See you later. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.